Hello, this is Professor Jim Caffey, and today we are going to do Chapter 25 on the Milky Way Galaxy. Well, here we see the Milky Way Galaxy over Square Tower, which is in Utah, part of the International Dark Sky Park. William Herschel was a German musician who took up astronomy and ended up discovering the planet Uranus. He made several large telescopes and also looked at the Sun's place in our galaxy, among other things. And here is his diagram of what he thought the diagram of the Milky Way looked like. And he put the Sun close to the middle. And here we have Harlow Shapley. Uh, who uh, is from about an hour away from me here in uh, southwest Missouri. I was born in near Joplin, Missouri. And Shapley has his own version of the Milky Way diagram, and we are not in the center. If we were to go above the, the galaxy, which we can't, but if we could take a spacecraft up there, it might look something like this, with a central bar, spiral arms, the disk is thin, about a thousand light years wide. We are about 26,000 light years from the center of the galaxy where the sun is out here in the arm. And we have some globular clusters, old stars around the galaxy. Here we see two types of spiral galaxies, an unbarred here on the left, and a bard on the right, and we believe the Milky Way is a version of a barred spiral galaxy with that bar in the middle right there. We can look at the inner part of the galaxy. This is a beautiful infrared map showing half a billion stars. Other parts of the galaxy, the galactic center, bulge around the center, the thin disk, and halo where the globular clusters reside. There are a number of arms that come off the Milky Way galaxy, and they have different names depending on what constellation we see them in. Here we see the Orion Spur, and we see lots of gas and dust and star forming regions. And a simplified form of the spiral arm shows two globs of gas and dust starting to rotate and they form these spiral arms. This is a simplified version. We look at different parts of the galaxy. We can look at it in the radio. We can look at it in x-rays. This radio image of the galactic center of Sagittarius A and Sagittarius A star. A near infrared view. And Dr. Andrea Getz, who uh, looks at supermassive black holes. How objects orbit the galaxy? In the thin disk, they go around in a flat plane. In the halo, they go above and below the galactic plane of the disk of the galaxy. And probably the most famous spiral galaxy is Andromeda Galaxy M31, with double the number of stars and black holes of the Milky Way Galaxy. Here's a globular cluster that goes around our galaxy. This is M54, taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. And someday into the future, uh, Andromeda galaxy will collide with the Milky Way galaxy. And what will that look like? Well, there are a number of versions that people have put together here. So we hope you enjoy that. Chapter 25 on the Milky Way Galaxy. We'll see you next time for 10-Minute Astronomy.